Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We're back, we're back, back, and today we're playing some more Go Medieval. And these guys are all currently asleep, so we're being quiet. Don't know why I did an outro, uh, intro like that. Anyway, let's get going. Um, so, last episode, we basically finished the second level. I lied when I said that they were going to get this finished in my outro screen. Well, more they made me out to be liars, goddammit. I thought they'd get it done, but then everybody went to sleep. It's almost like I've given them, like, too many hours to go to sleep. I think maybe we can take a couple of these hours back. That gives them six. Screw it, we'll give them seven. Why am I doing this? Base, 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 base. We'll go see the trader, see if they've got any apple saplings or any mechanical components. I've not checked the crossbow situation again recently either. Um, Double clicked on you. Not there, apparently. Barter. Let's have a look. Apple saplings. Yes, please. I want to trade leather out first. Oh, the flawless is brilliant. Good wool winter clothes. Get out. Get it out. You've only got six. Okay. Leather. If I go 999. You know what? That'll do it. Excuse me. And then that clears this out for just our linen, which we are halfway down our uh, supplies. So that's, uh, that's not particularly good. We are in spring. I should have done this a little while ago. We want cabbages. We want flax. We want herbs. We want herbs. We want herbs. Herbs, herbs. There are seed producing ones, which I think we're okay for at the minute. Yeah, we're still fine. Um, apple saplings. Our apple orchard has never really got there, has it? We tried to get it there slowly, but not like there's any apple trees out in the wild. Well, you, you can't really see any like this, but um, Raven is praying. They've basically finished building at this point. Sky is relocating. Uh, Relocating uh, piles, so yeah, let us get this all set up up here. Now, like I say, we're building the roof first, and then we're building the defensive structure part around the edge. I could have another bridge coming across here as well, to be fair, but the engineering required. Mm. Now, I'm just not that fussed. In fact, it'd probably be dead easy to do. Could I get a beam to go straight across that? I think it's more than 10 wide, isn't it? I'm almost certain it's more than 10 wide. Oh, I missed it by two. To be fair, we could build two pillars up from here. No, you've got... screw it. I'm not doing it. All right, so they're going to get building that. Can I put a stockpile on top of something that isn't actually there yet? I think the answer is no. So I want to get some bricks up here ready. <clears throat> Getting resources. Is there no resources? Haulers, right? You need to get your act together here. I'm trying to get this done somewhat speedily. <clears throat> wood over there, no wood over there, no wood over there. These are set to having wood brought to them, right? And I guess this should be very high priority. Just so it gets done, like, now. Now. Making stupid noises now. Um, very high. You know one thing I won't miss? This stuttering. Between this and the tenant, I've had two rather stuttery series. As much as I like the games, it does get a little bit grinding after a while. There we go. They're all high priority. I mean, these pair, if they've got the wood supply underneath them, should absolutely crush this. 
I think, yeah, so haulers are doing it. Now I need to set one up for bricks. And materials, no. Manufactured clay bricks. Very high priority. Hey, if they could get both the wooden roofs done in one episode, that would be absolutely amazing. Not sure that they'd be able to, but... Dank's still making wooden stuff. How are we doing with these crossbows, my dude? Fine, superior, superior. Another two flawlesses. Uh, so Calphalus and Gallo are getting themselves a flawless light crossbow in a minute. <clears throat> um, is everybody asleep? I mean, if you're hungry, that's a good sign because they normally eat and then go to bed. We did trade with that one, didn't we? I'm fairly sure we did. Do you want an auto save? Shifo just getting up for a, a midnight bite, I guess. Everybody sleeping? Everybody sleeping. Good. I could have built a bridge coming across here as well, and then they might not have wanted to go down and there, but then again. Does it really matter? I barely ever see them use this bridge as it is, because when... It's, it's rare, but they can come from the dining room and have to go straight to the wall, I guess. Come on, you bit. You built, like, most of the top of that so fast. It's all going to be about the bricks next. Just look at that. Just one tap in absolutely everything. It's another thing RimWorld does that I like. When you, I don't know if it's a mod actually. It might not be vanilla. Where you can get them to uh, the haulers to place the items down. And then the builder literally just has to come and build the thing. And they can go downstairs. Just get a couple of hands full of wood each. Oh, they're going to absolutely smash this job. Absolutely smash it. Oh no, my hay. Whatever will I do? It does give us some time to um, build the brick supply back up, which actually, thinking about it, we need to get digging some limestone out. So they can't actually get to this stuff on top of here. That's fine. That might actually be why we're stuttering, in all fairness. Because they're trying to get to that limestone, but they can't. Oh, that's one bloody lucky. Can I just get you, Gallo, one second to come and dig me this out so people don't get stuck again? And can you dig me this side out as well? I just don't want people getting stuck. And then I can set this all up to be dug out and I've not got to concern myself with it. Just this one as well. I'm not sure if they might be able to... Did he just fall over? I don't think he can dig that tile out. Hmm. It's fine. There we go. Right. Now that you've done that, I can get rid of that. And I can dig... That out like that, and I can dig, yep, that corner out right there. That's perfect. Oh, see what I mean about the stuttering? It's getting bad. There we go, just dig all that out. Eventually, this will collapse in, and we will be able to get to it, but for now, just now. Oh my god, the stuttering. Although, if it's these tiles that they can't get to over this way, then I understand why they've nearly done, like, the, oh my Christ. Um, let's have some bricks brought up over here as well, please. Just one stack for each side. What's this set to? That's set, set to very high. This should be set to high. That's why they're not moving bricks anywhere, because it's conflicting. 
Wow. I hope you're all enjoying the slide, yeah? It's not really what I had in mind for the um, last few seasons. A lone traveller. Are they even worth trading with? They can't really carry, like, anything substantial. I think a problem may be at the minute, the limestone. So if we don't start getting that in, like, mega quickly... A flawless linen cap. If we, yeah, if we don't start getting that in dead quickly, then we're going to run out of bricks. Um, guys, 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 Calthalus. Stutter. Frig off. Equip this flawless. Equip this flawless, thank you. Gallo, in a second. Equip this flawless crossbow. I never thought we'd get to the stage where everybody had, like, at least a flawless crossbow. That's going to be pretty cool. And then, obviously, we'll upgrade them to the flawless heavy crossbows later down the line, but for now, no. Um, Viking Vet, I know you're asleep already. Come equip this. Then everybody's got a crossbow. 4.84 and 9.5. And auto save 14.8. 4.8490. Why did I say 14? I said 14 the first time. Yeah, DPS goes up no matter which way you slice it. Um, should we do an allow all across the colony? I've not done one of these in a little bit. There we go. And there we go. Just make sure everything's all, uh, you know, up to spec. Able to be hauled. Everybody should be sleeping. Otherwise, I may kill somebody. Now we're good. Today, hopefully, they start hauling the bricks. Now that I spotted that little dilemma. Just one stack up there, one stack up there. That'll be enough. We'll do the same over here. One stack up there, one stack over there. And hopefully, in the time it takes them to get this floor and that floor built, they've at least brought some bricks up this one. And then by the time they've built the bricks up on this one, hopefully they brought some bricks up to this one. You know how I want it to go. You've witnessed the OCD enough at this point. Where's your partner in crime? He's praying. Yeah. I see. And getting resources for construction. Don't tell me they've run out of wood across here. <sighs> Haulers, come on. It's not like we've not got the wood. There's wood everywhere. These are set to high. That's um, correct. What are they hauling at the minute? Oh, I think... Um, well, that's not set to mature, so that's got to be set to dead. Yeah. Don't they just get more sticks out of dead? Wooden sticks. No, they just lose like five wood, five sticks when they die. That's fine by me. It'd be nice if they died in a more natural, natural in a more natural way. Natural order is what I meant to say, not way. I think they're all just prioritizing the clay. I mean, I do need them prioritizing the clay, but I also need some people at least. Just hauling. Wasn't Daniela set to be a plain flat out hauler? You know what? Viking vet as well. I'm actually going to do something a little bit stupid. For a change, you say? Shut up, is what I say. Let's get Gallo on um, continuous hauling as well. We've got three continuous haulers. Hopefully that's enough. That they start bringing wood to all these um, places. We've got wood over here. We've got wood over here. We've not got full stacks like that. And we've got some wood over here. That's a full stack. Have you gone on to the next building? That wasn't part of the plan, Raven. It looks like Raven, but it could be Sky. Yeah, it's Raven. 
Oh yeah, there's that single merchant. Again, I'm not that bothered about trading with single merchants. They've not got that much stuff to offer. 476. They've not got any more of that in whatsoever. Hmm. Are you guys not going to bed yet? I thought it was, I could say, night time's coming. Sure it's coming. Everybody going to sleep. Yeah, she went back to the first side. This is good. It Halfway through the episode, they've basically got this side done. Yeah, they've, they're about halfway done on it, let's be fair. Two thirds. Two thir let's split here. Yeah, they're, they're nearly finished. Miss Andy, as much as I want you haul him. You need to be going to bed. Ah, now nah, you're hungry. Why do they always get hungry before they go to bed? I guess it's only the same as them being hungry when they get up from bed. They're just hungry. Gallo, you're in bed, right? Miss Andy will get to bed at some point today. Early tomorrow. Well, it is tomorrow now. God damn it. Camera's the wrong way around. This is the way around that we like it. Everybody's sleeping. Okay, so long as we keep an eye on them and when they go to freaking bed, we don't have any problems. It's just if we don't keep an eye on them going to bed. We don't actually need a billion more bricks, do we? Who else is crafting? Calthalus is a farmer first. Yeah, that's fine. Jeffica. You can stay on stewarding. Miss Andy's cook then can stay on stewarding. Yeah. We need to turn our um, fire pits off. What is it? 68? 64? I've got everything in the church. 64 seems right. with one of those as well yeah I'm fairly sure we got everything so there won't be any more refueling now until winter gets back here again anyway that saves us a job there come on guys get the haul in dump I can't believe no bricks have been bought up here yet what is with the hauling come on my dudes you're slowing our construction down to an absolutely absurd degree by having them run backwards and forwards all the time. It's not like they even need much wood to build a tile. 200 wood will get 100 of these tiles built. Not that they can carry... You know what I mean. 200 wood left in the stack. Even though we don't need these stacks in a minute. Looks like somebody bought an entire tree up there. That's what we want. No wood, no wood. No wood. Come on, guys. You've got this. You've got this. Mr. Oi, some bricks. 120 of them. Maybe having five people dedicated to hauling is actually going to start getting things done. To be fair, maybe I should have had people set to hauling earlier in the series, but I needed bricks. I've needed bricks for a long time in this series, so I think collectively at this point we've got like one of these done. You don't need the bricks yet. I'm not queuing the bricks up yet or anything. Uh that could that could throw a spanner in the works. One adept archer, four archers, four fierce marauders, three marauders, four ruthless marauders. Okay. Please tell me they're not. They're going to attack this side. There's no way they're going anywhere else. I just need to check where the tile on the floor is. The game suddenly got very unlaggy. Well, they're either going to go this way or this way. So let's split our teams up. I've got every faith in my archers anyway. 
In fact, they're probably going to run to this corner, and it's obviously the one wall that we've not got set up already. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attack there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think they're going to come this way, but let's do it anyway. Just in case. If it looks like they're all going one way, not the other, I will quickly try and move some people. They can get around mostly. At a decent pace. Jeffica, Calpalas. Guess you're coming this way, whoever you are, Gallo. To be fair, most of our better archers are this side anyway. They're going to run to the corner and split. Looks like they're actually splitting clean in half. Okay then. Good chat, Stephen. You're near the top. You're meant to be over this way. Mm, you can go across that side. What are you doing up there, you spanner? I don't think it's going to make that much difference, to be honest. I think they're about to get decimated. We can watch both angles from here. Oh my word, you know what, we need a thumbnail for this. That's the one where they're not shooting for ones. No, no, let's wait till they're all shooting. Oh, action shot. Yes. And you can see that they've all got crossbows this time. I love it. I, I don't even have to target anymore. As soon as something comes into this line of sight, they're dead. Is anybody even going to take any damage? If I zoom out here, we can actually watch both of them. What are you guys doing? Just get on with it. In all fairness, these over here can be released. So, Oak Gox was the bravest of the settlers, dealing the most blows to the foe. Good on you, Sir Oak. And they're all going to run away now. How's about Shifo and Ayumi? Just. How did you even get in there? Just come in. Have a go. I'll come out here first. Jeffica, don't. Don't run that close to them. Shifo and Ayumi never get to fight. That's if they can even attack him. You know what? New thumbnail. Oh, this is this is bait right there, isn't it? No, no. Let's not use that one. It doesn't look real anyway. He's not attacking back or anything. Right, you guys are good to go. And we are good to allow all of this. What's happening? Stop that. You go like that. And you go like that. And we need one of them there, one of them there, you should be asleep. Okay, they're not bothered about sleeping, or I know, just a doctor. Excuse me, settlers are exhausted, we'll go to bed then. It's sleepy time. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Everybody seems to be asleep. Good. All is good. It's good. So that's now going to take Dak, Ayumi, and um, 
Stephen's time up dismantling all this crap again. I think in the morning I will get Raven and Sky very first thing to come and just build these platforms up for us. We don't want them messing around with that. Then they can get back to this. They are getting there. It's dead cool. How much brick do you need for one of these? Ten. That's going to be a lot of brick. Oop, they're up. Raven. This one. Sky Fury. This one. Just do it first before you eat. You can go and eat at any point. It's not like I stop you. I do always prefer it with the um, schedules just set to them doing what they want. It tends to work out better in my opinion, but I guess if you're really trying to get a project done, you do want to set them all to work and then give them the free time later on. In games like this, I'm not one for being like a prison master. I know people in RimWorld, there's a certain like way that people play it where they make skin hats and purses and stuff like that and they just harvest prisoners for organs and like you know I've, I've never played RimWorld like that maybe if I did go with a medieval style RimWorld playthrough I could play it like that just sell people body parts it would mean I'd need the um, the better operations mod. But then again, I always want to get to a bionic soldier stage. So I don't know if I'm going to do, like, um, a medieval one. I've never had, like, a fully bionic person. I want a fully bionic person. I think for me to get to that stage, I'd... Sage? Stage, I'd have to save scum. <clears throat> And I don't do that in my series. I set it to commitment mode. So if somebody dies, they die. There's no Alt F4 in Oh, I'll reload it and start again. No. <laughs> I must admit, when I've played RimWorld off camera, I have been a bit of a save scummer in the past. I, I just feel wronged if somebody dies to something stupid. I mean, I was remembering my first um, RimWorld series that I did on YouTube back when I was quite nervous about doing... YouTube and stuff like that. Not right now. Um, I'd got an archer. Uh, somebody with a bolt action rifle stood at the top of my wall and a melee trying to fight somebody. The bolt action rifle one shot my melee dude and just blew his head off and I like screamed into the mic just a little bit. Oh, I was angry. That was an alt F4 moment right there if I've ever seen one in my series, but <clears throat> although the finale for the last series, that was just Hilarious. There was no way I was defending that. Although, I did look at it in multiple ways. There was a chance I survived. I mean, I think there's a chance that you can survive every raid if you do things, like, in a certain way, or, you know, you're just good at the game. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I didn't play that very well. Hauling everybody up in one room when they had rocket launchers and grenades was the worst idea known to man. We should have got some range. Backed off a bit. Picked some of them off before they got there. I, I want to do something where melee is important. <clears throat> like this. Melee hasn't been important for us. I could have made it so that when they got into here. We could have had like melee, melee. Melee, melee or something. And once they're into this section, we can just, like, start hacking at them, sort of thing. I don't know. The only time I think melee works is if, um, well, actually, no, you want a corner piece, don't you? They're the they're Viking vet turn 43. Apparently, all the birthdays going to start again now. It's been a while since we've had a birthday. I think most of the people are, like, summer babies. Everybody asleep. Viking vet's hungry, but that's fine. It's his birthday. He's just probably getting a slice of cake before bed. I'll have a quick look before I start the next series anyway. Which, like I say, at this point for me, the poll is showing RimWorld. At this point, you guys already know because the series has already started. <clears throat> yeah. The rim, the... No, it's not. The other series has started. The one that I'm not mentioning. RimWorld doesn't start till after this finishes. I'm an idiot. Freaking idiot. 
I've got it wrote in a diary in front of me as well. I keep track of my episodes, in case you didn't know for some reason. Well, come on, we've hit time. I at least want to get this top one finished, but I don't think you're going to quite get it done today, are you? <clears throat> you were close. I think if the haulers had been on point a little bit more, you would have done it. I mean, now they are on point. We probably caught up with the hauling in that case. Saying that, there's still a load of wood over this way. It probably just needs relocating, restacking, reshuffling, re something. Re. Health Alice is botany 50. Yes. Cossack is 40. Did we had Cossack way before Calphalus, didn't we? Yeah. Although Reese was doing other stuff at one point, wasn't he? Medicine. Yeah, you've been doing medicine as well, I guess. As the herbs coming along, have we got them growing yet? We need them for our lavish meals. I never even considered the fact that lavish meals needed herbs, and that's why we were running out of them. Never even crossed my mind. We're going to run just a bit longer because I think they can get this finished in the next two days. In game days. All the farmers have got all the berries to plant that have died out. Oh man. They will plant these behind here, won't they? They can walk through the berries. I've seen them do it. I'm sure I've seen them do it. Yeah, it looks like the haulers are on point now. They've got the wood all sorted. But the joke is, we're going to have to get rid of this wood in a second, because they're basically finished with it. We're not doing anything else. I'm, I'm trying to avoid, as well, doing a uh, screenshot mode view and getting the entire castle in it at this point. I've not seen the castle in its full glory at this point, and I think it's going to be better to leave it off until the final screenshot. <clears throat> we just want to catch it in all of its glory. Come on, you got this guys. It's 16 o'clock. One of you build, one of you fetch materials. Sky's gone to pray again. I've never really noticed Raven going to... Oh, okay, then that told me right there, didn't it? I was about to say, I've never really noticed Raven going to pray. She doesn't tend to lose her um, religious stat that much or as quickly as other people. Maybe some people are just more religious than others and need to go pray more often. I don't know. Have we actually got any weapons being stored in here at this point? I mean, we've got the shields. Superior, fine, superior. Fine, superior, fine. No armor, really, yet. But obviously, Steven is trying slowly. What have we got in here? Another flawless crossbow. Uh, if you've got the other crossbows, you need heavy crossbows. Yes. That makes sense. Flawless heavy crossbows. Superior heavy crossbow. Um, marksman's still a 5. Marksman's still 14. Marksman's a 15. You've got a fine heavy crossbow. <clears throat> Dank needs to get round to making the fine heavy crossbows. Who's exhausted? Because they should be going to sleep. That's why they're exhausted. It is bedtime. Thanks, autosave. You can go away now. Everybody's asleep. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, you need to get around to making the flawless heavy crossbows. That's the only reason we're swapping people out now. You so nearly finished it. I could have wrapped the freaking episode up if you'd have done that anyway. We're waiting there. I want to see them get that done. So tomorrow's episode will be spent building this up. Hopefully they can keep us filled with the wood. I mean, they've had a good chance now to get these stockpiles at least primed and ready to be used. I mean, there's 500 wood there. Surely there's not like 500 tiles here. I don't even know. I could probably work it out because it's like 5 by like 30 something. So there's like 150, 300. 400. There's about 500. Uh, no, it's about a thousand woods worth, isn't it? At that rate. <clears throat> but they're nearly there. They've had their chance to prime it. They're going to just keep topping it up as we go. And we need to amusingly now 
get rid of this one. Make sure you get the stockpile, get rid of this one. And get rid of this one, because we don't need these wood stockpiles here anymore. This bit is done. Yes, next time, they're going to crack on with this bit up here. We will start planning out the brick side of this up here, I think. <clears throat> and then they can start building that at the leisure. Then, obviously, they'll probably go back to doing the brick side over there first. Then they'll come back to this. Then we'll get this side all bricked up, and then that'll be a wrap for the series. So, that's where we're leaving it for today's episode, not the series. Don't panic yet. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback really appreciated, as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.